In Luke chapter 18, you know the story of the Pharisee and the tax collector. There are a number of points we can see here. The first of all, that he thanks God that he's better than others. Luke 18 verse 9. He told this parable to some people who were trusted in themselves. And he said in verse 11, God, I thank you. Luke 18 11. God, I thank you that I am not like other people. Now he didn't say this. You know, it says here he prayed to himself. He was saying in his heart, none of us will openly stand up and say, God, I thank you, I'm not like people in that group, in the other group, because you lose your reputation for humility. We all want a reputation for humility so much, we'll never say that in public. But in our heart, we think, oh, thank God, I'm not like those other people who behave like that, who dress like that. You know, you've heard me use this example. Supposing a man comes home and his wife is absolutely angry and furious and yells at him and screams at him and he stands there like a holy man, keeping quiet. Doesn't lose his temper. Quietly goes away and thinks in his heart, Lord, I thank you. I'm not like my wife. Who is losing a temper. I've got victory over anger. You know, your wife may be a million times better than you in God's eyes at that moment. Because she lost her temper and she nobody can lose their temper and not be convicted about it. Afterwards she will repent. But you, you will never repent of your Phariseeism. And she is more acceptable to God at that moment than you who think I thank God, I've got victory. Yes, you overcame anger, you got out of a ten-foot pit called anger and you fell into a thousand-foot pit called spiritual pride. Is that victory? To come out of a ten-foot pit and to fall into a thousand-foot pit but your wife is still in the ten-foot pit and you are in the thousand-foot pit, who is better? I mean, ask a kindergarten student, they'll tell you who's better. There's a lot of this. You know, spiritual pride is like an onion. Have you tried peeling an onion? You take off one layer, I've finished with the onion. Really? There's another layer underneath. You take off that one, there's another one underneath. You take off that one, there's another one underneath. You've heard the story. If you haven't heard it, I must tell you. Most of you may have heard this. I've said it before. The Sunday school teacher who taught the story of the Pharisee and the tax collector to people, to the children, and said, you know, the Pharisee said, uh, I thank God I'm not like the tax collector. Isn't that bad, children? Thank God we are not like the Pharisee. <laughs> and we laugh at that and say, thank God we are not like the Sunday school teacher. <laughs> it's an onion. Layer after layer after layer. You can't get to the bottom. Be honest. I'll tell you something I've discovered. There are two sins I'll never be free from till Jesus comes. Pride and selfishness. It's layer after layer. It's become much thinner in my life, both those areas. But I discover lots and lots of areas in my life. And I'm determined before Jesus comes to make that onion as thin as possible. Selfishness and pride. If you're working on it and you acknowledge it, there's hope for you. If you imagine that you're free from selfishness and pride. God have mercy on you. Please don't be an elder brother anywhere. That's all I ask you. You'll destroy your church.